All right, guys, so I'm going to be doing something pretty freaking cool here today. I wanted to, I've been wanting to do this for years. I've been wanting to get a tier eight draconic evolution energy storage thing forever. This, this tier seven holds 2.14 trillion and it's like way, way more than I would ever, ever need. I mean, you can see like right now I'm using 87,000. And honestly, let me let me go hook this stuff up real quick. We'll see we'll see how much we're using maximum right now. I'm I'm a little curious. If we go over here, let's see, link that one up to that. Get these things rolling. Oh my god. I'm so bouncy. There we go. And let's even turn on the the Ender Dragon Woot Farm thing here. We're playing FTB Revelation. I think it's Revelation. Is it Revelations? Maybe Revelations. Either way. There we go. That should get the power going over there. And, <clears throat> dun 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 let's see how much we're burning. Because it's nighttime. We have nothing coming in from our solar. 246,000 a tick is what my base is taking right now. And I produce 1.7 million, I think, during the day for my, my solar system. This is the solar system from Environmental Tech. We've got over here power and all this. Over here, we've got two of the, let's see, that's the Void Resource Miner. And I dug it out. I haven't finished this one yet, but I dug it out. I'm going to do some like detailing in there, kind of like we did over here, where we dug all the way down to bedrock and made this like nice little chamber thing. Just something to kind of look down in. I think it looks cool. I mean, I figure if you're going to have a tier seven monstrosity, like, or was it tier seven? Tier six? Tier six monstrosity like this. You kind of want it to look cool. Oh, God, I got to fix that. Anyway, we're not going to do that here today because today we are moving that draconic thing over here. So let's go ahead and get this thing tore down. I had to make so much awakened draconium. Okay, none of this was cheated in. I did all of this through the mod pack. Not in creative, just 100%. Just grinded it out and the way we did it was we set up a woot farm for ender dragons um we set up a, a woot farm for withers wither bosses and then i just alternated the two for ghasts and withers wither skeletons wither skeletons so that way we could get a good supply of a lot of stuff and plus um sand coming from that thing kind of using all the mods to their advantage and of course my tier six nanobot thing is just so sexy i love it i love that thing but this is what i ended up doing this is what i ended up doing to make all that draconic awakened draconium i loaded up a ton of draconic cores here um a ton of the hearts that we got from our farm and set this thing up with a redstone clock so it just would automatically start. Uh, put a crafter on there with a draconic block recipe and an import bus. And then ran that thing over to my ME system, which is actually down in the basement. I, I'm using so many mods here. I mean, it's the FTB revelation pack. I kind of mix and match a lot of stuff. I'm not a very pure Minecraft player. Uh, but yeah, all of that. And I just crafted it up over here and was able to whip those out. It took forever to get this thing set up and, and realize that you could do this, but I just got sick of standing there. I'm like, I, I wonder if I put a lever on this, if it'll work. And I put a lever on it and it worked. I'm like, Oh, that means it takes a redstone signal. And so anyways, that, that little creation will save you a ton of time if you do decide to try to do one of these, but it's time to do the teardown. So I've got, oh, I got so much junk on me. Let's, uh, this is a scary moment. This is a giant block. This is a really giant block. Flux plugs. I didn't even have one of those on. The reason I have four of those on is because they each only output 256,000 per. Um, With them only outputting 256,000 per, that sort of limits you. It sort of limits you in how much uh, power you can get. Believe it or not, I found a use for more than 256,000 RF a tick. Uh, yeah, and what that is, is the wireless charger. I have the wireless charging hooked up. So this is constantly, or should constantly, yeah, it is constantly being recharged by our FluxNet controller. 
Um, and the flux net, of course, was hooked up over here. Now, of course, it's not going to be recharging. But wait, why are we doing this? This is this is exactly the time that we have AOE dig mode on to like. Let's turn it up to eleven, and let's turn this dig depth up to eleven. This is nuts. If you guys haven't seen this, turn it off this. If you haven't seen this, this can be very, very terrifying. Uh, I happened to accidentally do this in my base, and that's where this came from. This was one accidental miss right click, this whole area down here. So you got to be very careful with this Draconic Staff. Um, Yeah, this thing is insane. Just destruction. Destruction like you've never seen. And it picks it all up. See, we've got too much stuff, and it's going to be dragging along behind me. Uh, the redstone, mostly, is what's getting drug along behind me, and we don't need the redstone for this next one. So, oh, oh this isn't good. This isn't good. My my stuff's off. Oh, God, okay. Um, We can fix this. <clears throat> we, we can fix this. We can fix this. We need a... What do we need? What do we need to get this going again? I know. I know what we can do. We can take our wrench. This is going to look a little wonky, but we can take our wrench. Let me clear the binding. We're going to bind it to this one. And we're going to go over here and bind it to our wireless one so that we're continuing to get power. Oh crap. I didn't I did it backwards. You know what? This is this is okay. We can just right click. Boom. Okay. That should be sending power back. That was a moment of panic. I there's nothing more terrifying then when you end up in that situation, let me just start putting all this stuff in there. Redstone don't need, don't need the redstone. We do need the draconium. I don't need the flux plugs right now. We'll go ahead and put those away. Let me put away, what else can we put away? Flux plugs. Whew, I only have nine? What? Something happened. Oh. Yeah, something did happen. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't get them. All right, there we go. I gotta remember this thing's set to eleven by eleven, so we do not want to point it at the house. Don't want to do that. Okay. And before we forget, dig OE, AOE. We're gonna turn that back off. And the dig depth, because man, you do not want to destroy half your base on accident. You don't want to do that. It's not a good time. You won't enjoy it. There's nothing about it you'll like. It's just not fun. So I, I set this up in advance just to save a little bit of time with the positioning. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and grab that, take this off, and then right click this tier up to tier eight. And turn the build guide on. <sighs> oh my god, that thing is massive. That thing is absolutely massive. How far out? Let's see. The pylons can, or the uh, stabilizers can be 10 out from each side. So if this is the center core, this is, this is, what are we at? 1673. So we can go over to 1663 or 1683, which would be right here. Right here, 1683. And we want to make sure we're right in the middle. And then of course we'll back up to 1684 and put that block in there right no right there there we go there we go so that's where those are going to go that's where the energy pylons are going to go we'll go ahead let's just go ahead and start building those in since we're here um oh it's going to be difficult it's of course it's going to be difficult let's let's I guess it makes it a little easier when you, um, oh, come on. Oh, I'm the worst builder. I am so sorry. Let's see if we can pick this up. I hope this is the right distance, too, because this is going to be a pain to move. We'll have to do a, uh, what do they call it? A jump cut. There we go. That is the maximum distance it can be, because this thing is so big. Oh, okay. Anyway, I, you know what? Let's go ahead and start putting the blocks in. 
So I like to put the first ones in just so we don't have to deal with the shift clicking stuff any longer than we have to. It's so annoying to me. And I also turned off my, my shader pack, my resource pack for doing this. Ooh, you know what would help? A builder wand. Let's get a builder wand. Okay, there we go. Got the wand. Let's, let's get in here. This will make building this thing so much easier. I recommend doing this too. If you have the materials on you, you know, that's, that's all you got to do, really. <clears throat> Let's, there we go. What's our cube looking like? What are we looking like right now? Or snow. Get off there. How high does it go? Oh, man, this thing, it gets bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger and bigger. Let's see. Is that the outer? That's not even it yet. That's not even it yet. There we go. Do that. Yeah. Laying blocks by hand is for plebs. Let's, let's go like that. All right. I think that's actually the corners. That is actually the corners. Huh? Okay. Or at least the top. Let's see. Let's see the bottom. Bottom's got some work to do. There we go. That takes care of that. Wait, what? No, what? No. Not there. What are you, crazy? This thing's crazy. Uh, boom, 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 boom. All right, that does it. There. Ooh, we already got that side. Wow, this is actually coming together a lot faster than I thought it would. I'm I'm happy for that because I this this I didn't want to take up everybody's day entirely with this little project. But it's a lot of draconium. I mean, it's just a lot of blocks. It is a ton of blocks to do this. Got that. Let's see over here. There's still like a strip there we got to do. All right. I can't tell. This thing's kind of difficult to read. You know what? Did I already mess up? I think I messed up already. Yeah, I did. Okay. That's fine. I'd rather actually overdo it than underdo it because it just makes it uh, a little easier to figure out. You know, it's easier to trim away at the edges, I guess. I guess. I mean, that's my excuse. That's my current excuse. All right. All right. That's trimmed up right. That is not. Tis not right. Tis not. Tis not to say. All right. There's that. Go like that. Boom. 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 All right. Oh, we still got to do this side. Let's see. That is a big strip, it looks like. Was that too much? That was too much. But that's okay. Too much is okay. Let's go like that, too. You know, let's just let's get way too much. It's kind of easier to see. Makes it a little easier to clean it up, I think. We're still, still right, right? No. Right, right? No. This pickaxe makes things a lot easier, too. Did it, is it missing spots? I feel like it's missing spots. It's like legitimately skipping spots. And sometimes I've noticed that kind of thing happens with the builder block or the, uh, the wand. Or it just could be my own user error. It's probably user error. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to bet money. It's user error, not me, or not, not the wand, not the mod maker. It's, it's me. So there's that. Holy, we are nearly there. How much do we got left? Oh, we're down to almost our final stack. Almost the final stack here. Huh? Final layer on this side. Can you imagine if we'd tried to do this, but like by hand, this would have been ridiculous ridiculously long all right so that side gets cleaned up that side's cleaned up this side still has some work okay oh do we still have we still yeah we actually we we still got to peel some it looks like oh yeah and over here too so we have more blocks put down than i thought since we have to do this twice let's go on the top let's get this one done I think it was about like that. It's good to guess, right? 
<laughs> it's good to guess if you're right, right? All right. Boom. 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 And I think that's it. I think that's it for the outer layer. I think that's all the Draco. Well, they can't be. I have 25 left. Yeah, see? See? Aha. I was like, I know I math better than that. That's five, and then it's going to be five long, so we'll just go right here and click two, three, four, and five. There we go. Down to the block. Down to the actual block. <laughs> and now all this awakened draconium. I can't... Oh, I've never even seen a block of this put down. I mean, I'm, I'm probably not the only one. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe I am. But I have never seen a block of draconium in the wild like this. This is kind of cool. Until, you know, until we burn it all. 378 blocks, though. That is a lot of blocks. Uh, if I go this way? No. There's just no doing it. There is just no doing it on this side. We can do it on the, on the uh, ends, it looks like. But we're not going to be able to do it on these little stair steps. Why did I just take damage? What, what just happened there? Look at this monstrosity. This is, this is all, I mean, oh, building this thing took so much effort. I mean, I had to like design a new system for myself. I mean, I'm sure somebody's done a video on it. I'm sure somebody out there has already done a video on how to automate the fusion crafter, but if not, like, I really, really recommend doing that. Eventually here, I'm going to have a Woot farm set up for everything individually. I mean, because obviously I'm not going to have any power issues here for a while. Uh, we're going to have a Woot farm, not set up for everything, but I mean everything involved in this process. So, like, uh, Ender Dragon, Ghasts, Wither, or, uh, Wither Skeletons, and Wither Bosses. I'm going to have one set up for. And, you know, if I do need more power than the, the 1.7 million we got coming out of that thing, which I can't see myself needing, we have more than enough resources to make more. And, you know, I, I often wonder why I do this. I do, I do wonder. Is that block in the right place? I can't tell if it belongs. It's got to belong there. Uh, I, I don't know why I do this. It's, it's not, it's like more than necessary, but it's fun making the biggest and best stuff. I mean, that's, that's what I like about Minecraft in general. I know a lot of people play just to build cool houses and things like that, but I really like just building this. Like I, I earned this, you know, this took forever and I'm as proud of it as I would imagine most, uh, most builders are. But either way, I think, let's see, I think we're about done. We're nearly here. I have no rhyme or reason. I hope that's not triggering anybody out there. I know there's like some OCD people somewhere out there like, he skipped blocks. He skipped them. He skips his them. And I just simply ask you for your forgiveness, for your your uh, likes, your comments, you know, your your words of sympathy in the comments. Because I, you know, this is a Minecraft. I'm actually doing a YouTube Minecraft video. That just dawned on me. This is going to be my first Minecraft video on YouTube. Probably my last, too. Because I don't plan on doing these regularly. I just wanted to have the this one out there. Because I don't know. I don't know how many people have done this in creative. Or, sorry, not in creative. I'm not in creative. That's the point. <laughs> I've seen two videos of people doing it in creative. Um... And I've seen a lot of tier seven builds, but I've never seen a tier eight build. And I, you know, I haven't seen one done on Revelation, certainly. So that's, that's what we're doing. We're going to put this out there and hopefully people like it. Oh no. Well, now we're short a block, two blocks, two blocks down. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Last 20. It looks like. There it is. There it is. It's been done. Tis done. Wow. Look at this thing. 
Okay, let's get these in now. Let's see. Angel block. We're going to do an angel block. I got to figure out how far away these are so we can we can get this moving. So let's see. Uh, this is what, 1683? 1683 over to 1680? No, 1679. No, 1680. So 80, wait, three? That's four. That's four. Zero, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. So we got that figured out. I think we got the math right on this. So now it is time. If we click on this, it should be ready to go. I think this is the moment of truth. I, I don't have, let's get the last uh, energy pylon set up. Let's see. I think I was going to do it. Let's see. I want it to be directly underneath. And that should be right there. And we'll put that on there. Uh, this one is going to be the one we're going to move this laser system over one block, but that's that's OK. It was just one block off center. Uh, yeah, if we. Turn that to go out and then we click on what is this now this. It says it's ready. It's ready right here. Here we go. Activate. And there we go. We have. The maximum tier. Almost in for this snow though. Oh my, it, this has to go. We can't, is this for real right now? It's going to ruin my big moment. Covered in snow. Well, you know what? Here you go, folks. This is it. This is what we get. I mean, we can, we can go shut the weather off, but that's, that's not going to clear the snow off of it. Uh, stop rain. I don't know why it's always raining out here. It's very disappointing. But this thing is alive. It's alive. And it is holding near infinite energy. Nearly infinite. That's amazing. I'm I'm absolutely stoked with this thing. So uh yeah. We're gonna get this thing hooked up to the rest of the power system after you know I get my uh, this ugly snow off of it. I'm gonna probably set that celestial manipulator to make it never rain. I get like a rain sensor and just make it stop raining every time it starts raining. But this is just one of the many things you can do with Draconic Evolution. Uh, this thing is an absolute monster. These wireless, these crystals, I've never used these before, but these turned out to be super awesome and super effective. The wireless one works. It's going to work to power all of these machines once I get them set up and moved out here. And this thing is going uh, to hold everything. Almost infinite. <laughs> I just kind of want to see, you know what? We got to get it on the video. We got to get it on the video. Let's go ahead just really quickly here. We're going to slap this on there. We're going to take the crystal binder, clear it, bind it to this, and then bind that to that. Now we have energy going into it. I just want to see with it flowing in what it's looking like and we're 134 million is the charge transfer rate zero oh no that just sucked it all out of our our system didn't it oh yeah that just drained drained everything why are why are we not pull you know what this is in right output a hey. there we go input right no. Inputs into the, you know what? <laughs> We're going to cut all this. It's been a great episode. I'm going to figure this out off. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. This thing is, is pretty monstrous. It looks like a sun. I mean, that's what I love most about it is if I come over here, it's like a sun. We have a literal sun hovering over our base just winking out there so anyway thank you guys thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day peace